who would have thought there would be a skill about something as simple as watching the breath? But that's the way it is. Many of the most useful skills are the ones that focus on things that people tend to do sloppily, and so they don't get the benefit out of their actions. Years back we had someone visiting here, a young man who kept complaining that he would have these big swings of mood in the course of the day. Some days he wanted to do nothing but become an arahant, the other days he didn't want to look at his breath at all. He realized that his desire was totally out of control. He said, well, think back on some manual skill that you developed and how you brought your desire into control in the, in the sense that the desire was actually helping you with the skill and not getting in the way. It was strong enough to keep you at the skill, but not so strong that it was keeping you from looking at what you were actually doing. He went back, and the next morning he reported, I don't have any manual skills. He said, well, that's the problem. And a few weeks later, I asked him to saw a piece of wood, and I looked at the way he was sawing the wood, and he just couldn't look at it, and pointed out, this is how you do it. And he said, you mean there's a skill to this? He said, yes. Very simple things to be done well can make a big difference if you approach them as a skill. There's even simple things like running a kitchen, learning how to eat properly, how to, learning how to put things on the cart properly so they don't fall off. These are skills. And it's a sign of mindfulness and it's a sign of alertness that you pay attention to what you're doing. You try to do it as well and as in as orderly a fashion as you can. Otherwise, the sloppiness in your external manners tends to become sloppiness in the way you approach the breath. So pay careful attention to what you're doing and think about the consequences of your actions, even in very simple little things, because it's the simple things, the little things that can sometimes drive people crazy in the community. One person helps some, another person doesn't help. One person's taking something seriously, other people treat it sloppily. Look for the little skills that you can develop around you, how to do the very simple things in life. The life here at the monastery has been simplified as much as possible so you can pay full attention to what you're doing. And that way your inner manners and your outer manners help each other along.